Hello folks, this is Pietro and I'm back with a new presentation tip for you. How are you doing today? By the way, after re-watching my last video where among other things I was talking about audio and video quality, I realized that my audio quality wasn't that super outstanding after all. And so I took to heart the last tip of that last video and invested in a new microphone, which is up here. Oh yeah. But back to today's video. Being yourself, and I mean really being yourself, on stage or in front of a camera, sounds a lot easier than it is in reality. And therefore I welcome you all to my tip number nine, dare to be yourself. Before we start, if you like my videos, why don't you dare to give them a like or to share them with others who could make good use of them? I would really appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much. But why am I telling you to dare to be yourself? Well, because in reality, it is quite difficult, especially at the beginning of your career where more than ever, you think that you have to please everybody and you would like to be regarded as the nicest guy or the nicest girl around. Don't get me wrong, you should be nice, you should be pleasant, you should try to please your current or potential customers, but not if that requires you to start acting, to start playing a character that in reality you are not. Sure, if you for example fake interest for a specific topic or if you alter your personality hoping to delight a decision maker or an agent or a recruiter or an event manager or a director, well that might get you the one or the other booking, but A, you won't feel comfortable, B, it will cost you a lot of energy and C, sooner or later people will notice. Don't underestimate that. Anyone who in his or her life had to do jobs that they really disliked. Or anyone who at school had to study a subject that really sucked. Oh, wait, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. The square root of the third power of the hypotenuse divided by the integral of the logarithm of number i is equal or greater than x. x? What the f is x? knows how it feels. You just want to get out. So please try not to put yourselves in such situations. And you can trust me on that. It took me quite a while, actually it took me way too long to learn this. To develop the necessary bravery to always be myself. And to cope with the fear of possibly fewer bookings, which unfortunately could be a side effect, especially at the beginning. Fortunately, we can counteract that side effect. How? Simple. By specializing and creating our own USP. USP stands for Unique Selling Point. Identify what makes you rave. Determine what engages you. Find out what you constantly want to know more about and then specialize in that. The more specific your area is, the less competition you're gonna have. But that could also mean fewer job opportunities and therefore try to find more than one subject. I can tell you, once you have defined all that, you're gonna feel really good. Oh yeah. Oh, and let me tell you one more thing. If you really like a specific topic or subject, usually you're almost automatically good at it too. And not necessarily because you might be naturally gifted or talented, but if you really like something, then it costs you as good as zero energy to dig deeper into the matter, to learn more about it, to practice it and so on. As mentioned before, it took me way too long to realize that. I always wanted to please everybody and so I ended up doing too many jobs I could not really identify myself with. When I finally realized that my passions are languages, technology, industry 4.0 and stuff, I adapted my website, my social media profiles and all my communication material according to that. And since then, I basically did no more jobs that sucked, at least for myself. So remember, be brave, dare to be yourself and specialize. What about you out there? Have you ever played a character? Have you ever faked interest to get a job? Are you still doing it? Or have you always been brave? 
Let me know your experience in the comments below. Well, folks, that was tip number nine. I really hope that you find my tips useful as well as entertaining. If you do so, please let me know by liking them and sharing them with others. And should you prefer to hire a professional and specialized presenter, well then, here's what I have to offer. We will address today's topics in a lot of tendency to study development processes. We record our hashtag for your contributions to typology a completely new and revolutionary. This year we have an event hybrid. Thanks for watching folks and have a nice day!